Hello and uh, welcome to another video in the series of how to do things in Fantasy Grounds uh, Unity. And uh, some time ago I made a video uh, of uh, uh, how to restrict um, an effect to a particular portion of the map which required you to go into Photoshop and split the map up into different pieces and all that kind of thing. Well, uh, things have moved on since then. That video is now obsolete and you can do this kind of thing within Fantasy Grounds itself and we'll show you how to do exactly that in this video. Uh, so we need a map, so let's pick uh, this one here, and we can see that there's a nice uh, river which flows through the middle of this map, so we want to animate the river and leave the rest of it uh, as is. Uh, so we unlock our uh, map, uh, and we go to the effects layer uh, here, um, and then we just select the effect that we want. In this one, we're going to pick one of the uh, new ones. Let's pick uh, Ocean, if we can find it. There it is. Uh, and you'll see that that puts uh, the uh, effect over the entire map, which is not what we want, but this is how we would start it off. Um, now, there's now some new buttons with these effects, uh, and the important one here is to enable mask. So if we click that, then that places a mask over the effect, and so it's invisible, you can't see it, but there is a mask uh, over that effect, and it's masking that effect so that you can't see it uh, over the entire map. So now what we want to do is punch a hole in that uh, mask so that just the river is showing through, and this is where these two buttons here come into play. We've got Reveal Area and Hide Area. So if we click on Reveal Area, and then we hold down the Alt key, and then we can just trace around uh, using, just drag the mouse around the river bank. Um, now you'll probably do this much more neatly than I will. I'm just doing this for demonstration. Um, but we go around there and when we let go we can see that the uh, a, a hole has been punched through uh, that uh, mask and we can now see the effect through it. Can we do the same down here? Uh, just tracing again around the uh, river bank or the area that you want to reveal. And once we're done, there we go. Now we can then adjust um, these sliders here to uh, make it a bit uh, better. We can uh, reduce the distortion, which um, gives us a, a much cleaner picture. If we zoom in a bit, uh, we can see how things are going. We can increase the distortion a little bit more. Uh, we can maybe do the horizontal, uh, the vertical, the speed, etc. We can adjust all of these things till you get the river uh, flowing and looking just like uh, you would want it to. Uh, now you aren't restricted to uh, just uh, one effects layer. Uh, if we look at this room up at the top here, uh, maybe there's a light source in this room and maybe we want to make this room a little bit uh, lighter. Uh, to reflect that. So we can come down here and we can uh, add a new uh, layer. Uh, we select that layer and we select uh, what the effect that we want and let's pick the uh, time of day. And once again the uh, time of day effect covers the entire map. So let's mask it by enabling the mask which hides it. Uh, and then we make sure we've got reveal area and then we'll just this time we'll just draw a rectangle around that room and the room now changes color and of course we can we can change the color to whichever uh, way we want to the time uh, of the day we can make it darker we can make it lighter and how bright or, or however it is and um, so uh, that's basically it uh, that's how you uh, would use effects uh, and restrict those effects to particular uh, areas of the map uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.